Good day. My name is Shiva Jagat, and my research project is based on the investigation of a household refrigerator with low global warming refrigerants. The rationale of my project is to give an in-depth in insight on the alternatives to CFC refrigerants, which are commonly known as R12 refrigerants. Refrigeration in the modern era is not as eco-friendly as scientists plan to be. However, the efficiency is something that can be worked with. CFC emissions, however, promote global warming by the depletion of the ozone layer, which gives rise to more UV radiation. With the rise of UV radiation, human diseases such as skin cancer and cataracts are on the rise. The problem which is in question is that, multi that refrigeration is a multi-billion dollar industry, which is mainly situated in the powerhouses of the world, such as China and North America, mainly the United States of America. The uses of CSCs needs to be phased out in order to curb the consequences, such as global warming and human diseases. The aims and objectives of this project are as follows. To identify a list of alternative refrigerants to CFCs. To identify the distinguished properties of each alternative along with the pros and cons of each. Compare and contrast between BPR and CFC refrigerants. And finally, to choose the best alternative to CFCs from the list which was generated. And to give a suitable explanation as to why I chose this refrigerant. The scope of this project is mainly focused on two bodies, the government of Trinidad and Tobago and the refrigeration business. Moving on to literature review. In this literature review, I took into consideration four articles. The first article is as follows. The ozone depletion and global warming. A case for the use of natural refrigeration, which was done by Bulaji and Wan in 2013. In this piece, it was seen that natural refrigeration needs to be incorporated into this world by the use of natural refrigerants. HFCs were seen as the clear alternative. HFCs are commonly known as hydrofluorocarbons. And this was preferred to replace chlorofluorocarbons and hydrochlorofluorocarbons. Some natural, refriger natural refrigerants were also taken into consideration, which are ammonia, water vapor, carbon dioxide, and hydrocarbon refrigerants. Firstly, when dealing with the pros of these refrigeration, refrigerants are ammonia. Ammonia has favorable coefficient of performance, and the efficiency is greater than that of chlorofluorocarbons and hydrochlorofluorocarbons. Moving on to water vapor. Water vapor is a natural substance which is non-toxic, non-flammable, and has a zero ozone depletion potential and a zero global warming potential, together with a high coefficient of performance. Carbon dioxide at ambient temperatures works above its critical point, and at high, high temperatures are more efficient than halocarbons. Finally, we can see that hydrocarbons has a very low ozone depletion potential and global warming potential, together with a high coefficient of performance. In this table, we can see the ozone depletion potential and global warming potential of propane, butane, and isobutane. In table 2, we can also see the ozone depletion potential and global warming potential of chlorofluorocarbons, hydrochlorofluorocarbons, and hydrofluorocarbons. Moving on to the second piece. The second piece is as follows. Energy efficient and environmentally friendly refrigerators. Energy for Sustainable Development, which was done by DOT in 1995. In this piece, we can see that refrigerants were made slightly more energy efficient in 1980 and prior to this year. However, it was still not eco-friendly. So, between the years of 1990 and 1995, HFCs were refined in order to make it slightly more efficient while maintaining its eco-friendly levels. And between 1995 to the present day, HFCs were further developed in order to make it even more eco-friendly and more energy efficient. The method which was used to verify all results will determine the coefficient of performance of all refrigerants. 
In this graph, we can see the changes of consumer price index across the years. The parameters which were tested. In this experiment, we can see that this is an experimental study of new refrigerant mixtures to replace R12 in domestic refrigerators, done by Tashtush, Tat, and Shudifat in 2002. The parameters being tested between the BPR and R12 are volumetric efficiency, compression power, coefficient of performance, condenser duty, and compression discharge, together with temperature. The setup of this experiment is shown here. The first experiment was coefficient of performance. As you can see, the BPR100 is more efficient and desirable than R12. In the second experiment, you can see that with temperature, BPR80 produces a higher temperature relatively equivalent to R12. However, BPR80 has a much higher eco-friendly property. In the third experiment, we can see that compression power is investigated. The compression power of most of the BPR mixtures were better than that of R12. Therefore, R12 has no preference in this investigation. Moving on to condenser duty. BPR mixtures were all in favor in this experiment, compared to R12. Other experiments which were carried out were on volumetric efficiency, refrigerant mass flow rates, discharge pressure, and compressor discharge pressure. We can see that BPR-80 offers a higher volumetric efficiency than R12. For lower evaporator duties, BPR-80 has slightly higher discharge pressures than R12, whereas for higher evaporator duties, the opposite is true. Finally, the lower condenser outlet refrigerant temperature provided by the BPR-80 mixture gives a higher refrigerating effect over that of R12. Moving on to the final literature piece is Conduction of CFC-12 emissions from refrigerators, done by Burgel, Knopp, and Lotz in 1988. The primary aim of this is to implement chlorofluorocarbon-free mixtures, which are used in the pipelines of industries. This brings awareness that CFC-free agent, CFC agents are needed, in order, are needed in order to develop harmless emissions from industries. The idea of this is to facilitate development of natural refrigerants such as BPR-80 while still using the CFC refrigerants, but in a safer way, because the CFC emissions are guarded. Now, moving on to my methodology. My methodology of research involves information guarded by online research, identify the target audience, and distributing surveys to the target audience which was further found to be 69% through calculations. The method of study is as follows. The purpose of this study was to show valid replacements of CFCs in the refrigeration industry. Online resources aided in this development. And ultimately, I came up with the idea that experiments which will be able to prove this will be determining the coefficient of performance between R12 refrigerants and R134A, which is the BPR-80 refrigerant. In order to prove this, coefficient of performance was found, and the results were plotted on graphs using the LabVIEW software. Materials required are shown below. The schematic of the experiment is shown here where the condenser, compressor, and evaporator are all utilized. The method of experiment is shown below, where the coefficient of performance is used and it is found in step 6, where the formula is given. Ultimately, all outputs were generated and fed into the LabVIEW software, where graphs were generated and conclusions were drawn. In this side, we can see the Gantt chart, which gives a raw estimate of the time spent on each aspect of this experiment. And with this, it brings an end to my presentation. Thank you for your time.